Flynn Snyder is live at the Chatham County Courthouse. Flynn, a police officer who was first on the scene when Quentin went missing, testified today while you were there. Yeah, Dawn, Chatham County Police Officer Sophia Zerke says she was there nearly each day of the landfill search for Quentin Simon's remains, describing it as mentally, physically, and emotionally draining. Tell me what it felt like to see that little piece of Quentin's skull and pick it up and realize what it was. Um, it was heartbreaking. Was it rewarding also? Chatham County Police Officer Sophia Zerke tearing up, recounting the moment she discovered what turned out to be the remains of 20-month-old Quentin Simon. It marked the end of an exhaustive, weeks-long search through tons of trash in a landfill on Little Neck Road. I wanted to see it, see it through and to help in any way that I could. Those directly involved in the 2022 search testified Tuesday, including an FBI forensic accountant who told jurors that the toddler's remains were found on the final day before crews broke for Thanksgiving. This occurred that that morning, late morning, um, indicated that they had found something that didn't look like everything else we've been seeing. Um, it appeared to be a, a piece of a, a skull. Earlier, prosecutors showed jurors records they say logs the specific truck that serviced the dumpsters at Azalea Mobile Home Plaza on October 5th, 2022, where Simon is accused of dumping Quentin's body hours earlier. The manager of the landfill where Quentin's remains were found also testified, pressed by Simon's defense team, who appeared to cast doubt on whether the toddler's remains could be traced to the truck that serviced Azalea. How many landfill cells do you have operating at one time in, in the dump? Just one. Okay. So with regard to that landfill cell that's operating, any and all trucks that come in there dump in that landfill cell, correct? That's correct. Also today, Judge Tammy Stokes ordered cameras to be cut during the testimony of Craig Weston. Prosecutors say he was Simon's drug dealer and believe the two were in an intimate relationship in the weeks leading up to Quinton's disappearance. Court is expected to resume at 10 tomorrow morning as prosecutors indicate they may be near resting their case. Reporting live in Savannah tonight, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.